everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to go to Kangaroo Island. This was filmed last Easter time. Yep. Um, backstory is, we wanted to start getting into YouTube and start filming because our me brother and Adam inspired us. We love their channel. Um, so we went there in all intentions to be filming constantly and doing everything, but we got a little bit shy. A little shy, a little hesitant, I guess. But I guess Lee was super keen at that time. Really I fun. was a little bit more hesitant, not quite ready yet mm -hmm. to start filming. Um, but at that time as well, we had a fair bit of work on as well. We were pretty buggered and we just wanted a family holiday. Yeah, but yeah. We filmed, we did film a lot of stuff. Lee managed to get the drone up in the air and not actually crash it as well, <laughs> which is great. Um, but we didn't get to do a lot of filming in front of the camera as we would have liked to. We did, so. we did, we did a bit considering how, how I was very anxious as well. Even though I really wanted to do it, I was very anxious and so, Kristen came around a little bit. A little bit. A little bit, a little <laughs> bit. But we, we got some, we got some footage and um, we hope you like it. Yeah, Kangaroo Island is a beautiful, beautiful island. You must go. It is pet friendly and child friendly. Yeah. Um, we did take the um, boat across from, not too sure, I can't, can't remember what it's called, Cape something. We'll put it up on the screen for you. Um, but it was an absolutely wonderful trip we had um, down at the island. There was so much to do. Uh, we did take Dozer along. We did not have Winston at that time. We just had Dozer. Um, we did uh, travel to the national parks, but we didn't travel with him because we couldn't. Lucky that where we were staying, there was a vet that also did um, daycare for, for dogs. So we were lucky to have him there for a couple of days while we were there so we can go into the national park areas um, and have a look at the seals, which was fun. Was kids, good. kids also got to go into the sand dunes to do some tobogganing, tobogganing as well. Yeah. That, that was hard. Fun. Now it looks grouse <laughs> when they come down, but walking up those sand dunes, oh, yeah. I tell you what, you're definitely not going to see any footage of me climbing up the sand <laughs> dunes because that took way too long. <laughs> um, but in in all, the, the, it was a beautiful trip over there. Um, That's it. Lots of things to do, and the caravan park that we stayed at was brilliant, especially if you got dogs. And because of the the water, the the bay was like quite literally like a two hundred meter walk. So every morning when I had to wake up and do dozers, uh, morning duties, morning duties, <laughs> it was it was and it was close. Walked there, watched the sunrise, had a coffee. It was beautiful. Every day I went there and did that, and it was fantastic. Fantastic. And another hot tip, hot tip, here we go, <laughs> hot tip. When you're coming down to the ferry, if you go there, do not, do not get fuel from the general store. Right at the Cape. Right at the Cape. Right before you get on the boat. <laughs> we thought, oh, you know what? We should get fuel here. We should top up here. Before so we top, going across. Before going island. across, topped up there, got across to the island, on the island, it was 30 cents cheaper. We got ripped off. So That's ridiculous. They fill up before you get on. That's my tip. Anyways, well, we hope you enjoy this video. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. We're heading off to Kangaroo Island. First stop, Watertown. Okay, so we are at Pink Lake, just outside of Dumbula. Check it out. It is pink as.
Okay, so when we reached Border Town, uh, we reached pretty late. The kids were buggered. Dozer was all huffed and puffed out as well from the long drive. Yeah. Um, so we basically didn't get to film much in Border Town. We walked down to get some pizza. We ended up just coming back into the park. So we actually stayed at the Border Town Caravan Park. We didn't hook. We didn't stay in our caravan because it was just for the one night. I could not be bothered setting up the expander <laughs> for all of us, so we just got a pet-friendly cabin, pretty small, but it was did what it needed to do for the night. Um, well, it worked for me too because with the night that we were there, Colin would play it too. Yeah. So we got to sit in the cabin and watch the Collingwood game. So that was fantastic. Don't don't, <laughs> don't, don't judge me because I'm a Collingwood supporter. We don't want to hear from the haters. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was, yeah, the Caravan Park um, was close to the highway, the freeway as well. Um, pretty good, decent sized park, pet friendly obviously, but it did what it had to do for yeah. us. So we basically stayed the night and then we woke up early and jumped back into the car and headed straight down. Quick one though, Border Town is where Bob Hawke grew up. Yes. Yeah, so his, his house is all done up and all that, of plaques everywhere. Beautiful little, little townhouse sort of thing. Um, I wanted to go, we went and got pizzas that night. I wanted to run back to the caravan park, which is only about, I don't know, not even a K away, and get a beer, and then Kristen filmed me sculling a beer in front of Bob Hawke's house. Because, you know, Bob Hawke holds, <laughs> held the world record for sculling a yard glass. So I thought, I should do it, you know. And then Kristen goes, no, nah, no, nah, don't worry about it tonight, and all that, and I go, oh, I'm doing it in the morning. <laughs> Doing in the morning, I don't care what time we leave. We're doing in the morning. We left at six o'clock. I forgot all about it. I forgot all about it. So but it was a bit too early to smash down a beer as well. I'm sure you would have done it, I but now I made sure we we headed straight back onto that road. <laughs> all right. So enjoy the rest. We've left Watertown and we're coming to a town called what's it called? No. Hondoff? No. Hondoff? What's no. it called? Should have thought about it before you started filming. What is it though? What's it called? Handoff. Handoff. A German town. Now I'm pretty excited. Because I want to get a Stein. I want a Stein of beer. But it's good Friday, so things might not be open. So, a bit shattered, but if I get there and it's all closed, I'll still drink beer. How are you going to do that? So it's yeah. awesome news. We got into town and I got my, got my beer.
happy Easter today, Sunday. Me and Jared, instead of getting Easter eggs, Jared's going out on a fishing charter, and this is where we are to Emu Bay, waiting for our charter boat to arrive and get out there and try to catch some big fish. We'll keep you posted with some videos. I reckon I'll get the biggest fish. Jared's arms are too weak. What do you reckon, Jared? Huh? No. You reckon you're gonna win? Yep. What are we gonna have on it? Do you want a bet? I bet you're yeah, a shoes. No. Oh. A beer. Yeah. Alright, a bet. Fish on Jared? Smile at your man, mate. Yeah, give me a smile. Look at that, Hey! That's exactly what we want. Go J Dog. Go, Jay Dog. Oh, another one. Okay, so the score is me, zero, Jared, and what'd you catch? I caught a little fish. And what was it? Huh? A rock cod, wasn't it? Yeah, rock cod. And did it fight hard? No, I thought, uh, did you, did you know you had a fish on? No, I just... <laughs> <laughs> so he's winning and he didn't even know he won. Today we've had a big day. We went on a fishing charter boat. Come back, relaxed. Did a bit of fishing in the bay out back. Decided we'll have a roast pork for dinner. And we need a lot of veg when we eat roast pork. So here we go. <laughs> We're down on American River and we've stopped in at the oyster farm shop. We've ordered some fresh oysters, oysters Kilpatrick and some abalone. We've never had abalone so we're going to give it a try. And uh, now we're just waiting, waiting for our little buzzer to go bing 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 bing. And then we're up and we're drinking some cider. So let's see what it's all about. Very sweet. Okay, we are at King Island Brewery. It's actually a pretty cool place. Pet friendly outside. Beautiful farmlands surrounding. Kids have found a spot to sit already with the dog. Lee's gone in to get a menu. They've got some pizza, they've got some food out here as well. So let's see what they've got. I'm just gonna taste some ales today at the local brewery. Sorry, Jared. The kangaroo. Little oil. bit too young, mate. At the Kangaroo Island Brewery, which is trying to sample boards, their pale ales, their IPAs, and that. They're not bad. Um, beautiful, brand new place. Inside's unbelievable. We'll take you inside soon. Getting pizzas, and we're just going to enjoy the day and check the view out. So, reviews normally go for a long time. I'm going to do a real quick one for you all, and this is how we do it. Ready? They're nice. As a whole, they're better. Thanks for watching. Our food has arrived, people. Mm, mm, mm. Looks good.
below. and gentlemen Hey, we're back again. We're just uh, coming back from Admiral Arch. Admiral's Arch, which is on the north, the south end of the island, and it's in a national park. So today, as you can see, no dozer. Wasn't allowed to come with us. So he's in doggy, doggy jail for the day. But um, while we're there at Admiral's Arch, we got to see heaps of seals playing in water. It was fantastic. And uh, now we're gonna head to Little Sahara, where the kids are going to do some tobogganing down in sand dunes, and I'll get drinking. And it's toboggan time. Let's go. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> We'll wait down at the bottom, kids. <laughs> we'll film you come down the dunes. This is one that we lock, we're uh, happy to sit down on.
Is it? It's massive, isn't it? Is it cold? It's cold! <laughs> <laughs> Now the shark's coming. Now the shark's coming. It's a big boy. Alright, so we're down at uh, King's Cot Tidal Pool. Uh, it's very nice. Tidal Pool. But it is like 12 degrees right now. And we're going to have a competition to see who lasts the longest. So, come on, ready? On the count of three. One. Come on, Joe. One. Two, three, go! Go on, Natalie! <laughs> go on, Natalie, quick! Go! Hurry up or I'll push you in. Come on! Come on, your brother's in there, look! <laughs> hey, Jared, is it nice? Come on, Joe. Natalie, come on! Come on, I'm filming, let's go! Alright, so after Natalie didn't jump in I decided I have to take one for the team and jump in Jared was filming he said he was filming and then what do you know it didn't show up so he didn't film so now Nat's in the water and now we've talked her into it she's got a snorkel on Jared's gonna do some snorkeling let's go it go on Natalie jump in and Dozer wants to jump into it go on Nats. Come on, Jared. Dive in. You've already done it three times. Come on, Natalie. I want to kick you in. <laughs> Just get in. <laughs> come on, the shark will come. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Dozer. Well, obviously, Dozer doesn't want to jump in. Oh, she's in. <laughs> so they're doing that, and this one's doing this. So it's the day before we go home and we decided that we had to come back to the oyster farm because uh, it was so nice the other day. But believe it or not, there's no oysters, no fresh oysters because the farm, which is across the road, all the farmers have got COVID so they can't, they can't harvest the oysters. So but we're going to get some abalone and some prawns. Sure you stop in at the oyster farm beautiful okay guys we are at stokes bay check this out fantastic day today the beautiful thing about this place it is pet friendly the dogs have to be on a leash how do we get to the beach Ooh. It's interesting. It's 
we've got to go through these rocks to the beach. Thank you. Oh wow. Beautiful tight squeeze. <laughs> wow. Thanks guys. <laughs> Maybe came out of. Absolutely magnificent. Wow. Fish in here. Water is so clear, absolutely spectacular. Stokes Bay, guys, a must see. to Island Beehive. I'm here for the ice cream. Chris is here for the honey. And uh, the kids are in the car for dozer. They're a bit tired at the moment. So I'm going to get ice cream and they can suffer.
Can you find a coin? Hey? Find it? No. <laughs> Are you? Any ice cream? How many should we take? Waiting for the ferry at Penshaw to head back to the mainland. This beach is beautiful.